Alright, here we are at Ipo Concubine Lane. So 1890s, 1892, this was part of the city. What it was known for, this is not his wife. That's his concubine, which is like, you know, you have your wife and family, if you're like a rich guy, uh, emperors used to have that. You know, Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan was famous for having thousands of concubines. Uh, it's like your girlfriend. Uh, side chick. So this was the area of Ipo to meet your concubine. <laughs> All right. Well, now it's like a you know little strip. They got cool little waffles here. Malaysian flag. This place is bumping. Nice little walking street. Cool little shop. Jelly bar. Desserts. More uh, things. Ooh, that looks nice. Laksa, mana, like in Georgetown, the laksa style. Yeah, cool little laksa. Uh, cool looking. Artwork. Trinkets. This little lady selling uh, cotton candy. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Ooh, this kind of cool. Little kids like coming through here. Ooh, get some of that stuff. Oh, look at the other up there. Wow, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of the way. Ooh, look at this little thing. Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> There's another cool sign with the street name. Got ice cream pups in here. Monkey Vine Lane. All this street. Yeah. You can see up there the buildings are really traditional old style 1890s British colonial architecture. Up there too. It's really cool. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, little fried crabs. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing my best with that. And there's like some pink couches you sit on. You have to buy first, so get some, get something in there. You go and take pictures of the pink couch. It's another old building, cool sign. Yeah, so lots of Chinese riding. Ipo is majority Chinese, uh, Chinese people. 44%, 45%, almost 50% of the population. A lot moved here for the tin mining industry uh, in the 1800s. Early 1900s, big business tin, uh, but you know local Malay people, they're about 40% of the population, 38% I read somewhere, and then you got about 7%, 10% that are Indian, mostly Tamil Hindus. Look at those guys, old British guys, and they used to have British people hanging out here. You know, all over Ipo you see the interesting little shrines. So the, the business gods or the different Chinese folk religions that are some wine and some incense left out for them. And there's a cool looking building right there. Whoa. Hanchin Petsu, the Hakka miner. Ah, yes. So Hakka Chinese people are of ethnicity of Chinese, that are not Han Chinese, the main ethnicity of China. And they moved here to mine the tin and uh, they have specific foods a lot of people here speak Cantonese which is interesting from Guangdong Guangdong Hua uh, Shou Hua Guangdong Hua a lot of people speak Mandarin too especially younger people because the internet here is a better example of one of these things so these are like by every business almost in the whole city every house Shou Hua Guangdong Hua Wo Xi Huang Zhong Wen Zhongwen, uh, Zhongwen Wenhua, Li Shi. So about 100, 150 years. It's like a Chinese city in Malaysia. It's really interesting. A mixed mixture of lots of people. All right, that's it for Ipo. This would go good with beer. So I'm gonna go oh, to the snow beer place. I saw snow beer. Over there. Okay. Zai Jian Pang Yao, Pang Yao, Pang Yao. Snow beer. Perfect. All right. Shishani guys, Zajian, Zajian, Pongyo. Bye. Alright.
cool guys. We got some mini crabs. For, for me though, it would just go much better with some PGO, some beer. I know a lot of places are halal in Malaysia, which I'm cool with, you know, do what you gotta do, but this snack right here would just go good with some beer. So the guy over here told me you can find some, something called snow beer. So let's go. Here? Is this the one? Maybe not. Pigio. Wait. This one. Okay. <laughs> Is it this one? No, I think it's on the corner. That one way down there. That's it? It's something, something's coming in this cool place called Snow Beer. I love Epo. This guy's got a nice shirt. So you get the tiger. Most local beer in Malaysia. Uh, watch it. There we go. It makes it frothy. You have to drink it quick, they say. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Nice. And drink now. Yes. Okay. Ah, it's cool like snow. Refreshing. 20 ringing. Okay. That's about uh six bucks, something like that. Five. We're in the most touristy area, so a little higher. Oh, oh, oh! Drink, you have to drink it fast! Um no. We're spilled. <laughs> Alright, she she need. Nice shirts, guys. I love Epo. Yeah. Man, the Sinhalese bar, nicest people, man. Our favorite bar, maybe in all of Malaysia, since 1931. All right, guys, in Old Town, Ipo, cool day. Sunny day, sunny Sunset day. Sunset over the massive mosque of Parak. From 1970s, yeah, it didn't rain in the afternoon for once. <laughs> done that for almost every day. Every day in Malaysia, it's raining a lot. Never have one sunny cool day like summer. But if you have like, if you are a long-term traveler, goes. you can know to let these things in heaven. You have to take the weather as it comes. Rainy season. Rainy season, dry season. Rainy season, dry season. If you're a full-time traveler, you just... So you have to go when you can go because it goes the sunset. If it's dry season, the prices will be more expensive. If it's Earth season. keeps spinning about around that orb over there. Three, two, two one. one. Happy New Year! Yeah. Happy September first, twenty twenty-two. Always have something to say with the mist. I'm not the mist, the God. Why is it September? Ah, uh, September actually means seventh month. But now it's the ninth month because, whoa, look at that button. That was kind of cool. Uh, now it's the ninth, ninth month because Julius Caesar updated the calendar. But they just kept the names of September 7, October 8, November 9, and December 10. Even though they're... You Kong War oh, I love places like this, man. The cook. 